promises, amen. God, we believe this about you, Jesus. And when he moves, make no mistake, the bowels of hell begin to shake. All hail the Lord. Oh, you sing this out. Come on. Sing a little louder. When he moves. Sisters tonight, come on. Come on, sing that out. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Come on. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. If this is uncomfortable for you, this is how it works. This is how it works. You don't have to have a mantle to pray. You don't have to have a calling, clear direction to intercede for the voice of God on your generation. It's really simple. He's inviting you into simple intercession tonight. You need to get undignified. Don't care about what you sound like, what you look like when you pray, when you intercede. Let us be the people where our knees are scarred from being on the ground and falling on our face before the Lord. So we're gonna sing this again. And I want this whole room to do something you've never done before. Don't stand in, in place, do, just, just break open. The Holy Spirit is inviting you into intercession. This is what it looks like. Intercession is not just sitting. Oh, Jesus, more for, more for me, more for, you know what I mean? It's, you're interceding for your generation. There's so many young people here. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm done talking. We're gonna, we're gonna sing this out. We're gonna get undignified, yeah? Can we do that? One, sing this out, when he moves. Woo, Holy Spirit, help us. And when he moves, and when we pray, we're to the wall, now stand. Come on, sing it like you mean it. us to pray Holy Spirit <laughs> and when he moves make no mistake the bowels of hell <laughs> they're so scared of you the enemy is so scared of this right now come on we gotta lift our voice when he moves come on let's build it up come on
Holy Spirit, teach us to pray, Holy Spirit, make me an intercessor, God. Come on. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit, teach us to pray, Holy Spirit, teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. Keep singing that, come on. to pray Holy Spirit come Lord Jesus come Lord Jesus teach us to pray Holy Spirit teach us to pray Holy Spirit teach us to pray Holy Spirit friends we believe there is a spirit of intercession falling on this room tonight there's a spirit of intercession falling on us tonight. And it's the invitation of the Lord to partner with him and bring heaven to earth. There's a desperation that Jesus is inviting you into. There is more. There's more hunger for us in this room. There's a greater desperation that Jesus is inviting us into time and time throughout the scriptures. You see that desperation pulls on the power of God. In the story of the woman with the issue of blood, she presses through the crowds and one touch from Jesus changes everything. The four friends and the paralyzed man, they couldn't find a way. So they busted through the roof to get to Jesus. And one touch from Jesus changed everything. Friends, how desperate are you for revival in your own life? And how desperate are you for revival in our generation, there's a greater desperation. Could we say yes to Jesus tonight? Could we say yes to Jesus tonight? Jesus, we say yes to your invitation. Make us desperate for you, Lord. Make us desperate for you, Jesus. We press through our comfort, Lord. We press through the convenience, Jesus. We say yes, make us desperate for you, God. We want revival, nothing less, Lord. Would you just tell that to Jesus? Jesus, we want revival in our lives. We want revival in our generation and nothing less. Lord, we can't live for anything less than revival in our generation. Would you do it in our day? Would you do it in our day? Would you do it in our day? Thank you, Jesus. We're desperate for you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Teach us to pray. Teach us to pray, Holy Spirit. 
hungry, Jesus. Make this up to your heavenly language just begin to pray in the spirit if you don't have your heavenly language just pray to jesus ask him for more hunger be just jesus be just be just jesus intercessor we're following your lead be just to intercede tonight
spirit of cars, spirit of mark, spirit of cross. We need the fear of the Lord. <laughs> we need the fear of the Lord. We need the fear of the Lord. See, we want, and we want the fear of the Lord. Give us. So give us the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, spirit of wisdom, spirit of wisdom and understanding. <laughs> We want the fear of the Lord. We need, we need the fear of, we want it. We want the fear of, sing, give us. Give us the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, sing, spirit. Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of counsel, spirit. Jesus, teach us to fear you tonight. Give us the fear of the Lord tonight. Come on. 
If that's your desire, cry out. You don't have to know what you're asking for to receive it. Lord, teach us the fear of the Lord. Give us the fear of the Lord. Teach us to fear you and nothing else. Lord, teach us to elevate you above everything else. Establish your throne in our hearts. May we stand in awe of you, Jesus. Tear down every other idol in our lives. Teach us to fear you and you alone, Jesus. Teach us to fear you and you alone, Lord. Give us the fear of the Lord tonight, Jesus. Give us the fear of the Lord tonight, Jesus. Would you cast out every other fear, Lord? Would you cast out every other care, Jesus? Would you tear out every other idol, Lord? Establish your dominion in our lives. Establish your rule and reign in our lives. You have all of our attention, Lord. Would you be everything to us, Jesus? Would you be everything to us, Jesus? Teach us the fear of the Lord Jesus. Would we love you? Would we love the things of God and hate what is evil? Would we love you, Jesus, and hate the things of this world, God? Tear out every attachment to the world. Tear out every attachment of the world in our lives, Jesus. Teach us to fear you, Lord. Elevate Jesus in our hearts. Elevate Jesus in our hearts. Establish your throne in our hearts tonight, Jesus. Teach us to fear you, Lord. Teach us to fear you all of our days, Jesus. Lord, would we live before you and no one else? The Lord is delivering us of every other fear. Fear of man has to go. Every way that we've lived before anyone else, every way that we've lived for ourselves, every way that we live for the world, every way that we lived before man, he's delivering us as we sing this out. As we cry out for a fear of the Lord, he's delivering us from every other fear. Come on, if you want that, would you lift your voices one more time? Jesus, give us a fear of the Lord tonight. Let's sing it out. Give us a fear of the Lord tonight. We need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. See, we need it. We need the fear of the Lord. We want it. And we want the See, we need it. We need the fear of the Lord. And we want the fear of the Lord. So give us the fear of the Lord. Let's sing this out. Fear go, Holy Spirit come, burn like a fire, blow like the wind. Fear go, Holy Spirit come, burn like a fire, blow like the wind. Fear go, Holy Spirit come, burn like a fire, blow like the wind. Fear go, Spirit of wisdom.
No spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, God. No spirit, but the Holy Spirit. Jesus. You would be our one desire. You would be the thing that captivates us every moment of every day, Lord. Friends, I want to pray for revival in Southern California and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And I believe the Lord is going to respond to our intercession tonight. The thing about a, a desperate intercessor is it's filled with faith. 
believing that God hears our prayers and response. And Jesus is revealing himself to a generation. He's revealing himself to us in this room tonight. And there is more. And so I wanna pray and ask the Lord for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. See, the thing about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is that his goal is to reveal Jesus. So, so when we pray for the Holy Spirit to be poured out in Southern California, we're praying that the Holy Spirit would reveal Jesus to us and to a generation. And God is doing it, friends. But there is more. There is more. And so I want to step into that place of intercession in this moment and say, Holy Spirit, would you pour out and reveal Jesus to us and to a generation? And friends, I wanna lift up a desperate cry. Lift up a desperate cry. Lift up a faith-filled cry. So on the count of three, I want you to lift your voice and I want you to cry out, Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to me and to my generation. Holy Spirit, come. On the count of three, one, two, three. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to our generation. Lord, we want revival. Jesus, reveal yourself to us. Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to us in this room. Reveal Jesus to a generation, Lord. We ask for more, Jesus. We ask for more of you, Lord. We ask for more of you, Holy Spirit. Come on, lift your voice. Holy Spirit, come. We ask for an outpouring in Southern California, Lord. We ask for an outpouring in Southern California. God, we've seen revival in the past. Would you do it again and more, Lord? Lord, we ask for a revival like we've never seen before in Southern California. Open up the wells again. Pour out your spirit again, Lord. Touch a generation once again, Lord. Touch a generation once again, Jesus. table of 
religiousness to holiness is all that's left just worshipers in spirit and in truth can we sing that again and tear down the altars of self-righteous plans the idols built to fear of man the lie i have to work my way to you flip every day to holiness is all that's left just worshipers in spirit and in truth and we're not satisfied with empty words not satisfied with playing church we want a real encounter we want a real encounter we won't say
on, sing this out. We want revival, clean hands and pure hearts. Come on, lift it up. Lift your voices. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift it up. Come be the center, high priest forever. You tore the veil so we could come through. Oh, come tear down the singing empty words I just felt the Spirit of God just burning like I want to rip religion out of the land in a greater measure so in intercession we're just standing in the gap crying out to God would you remove a spirit of religion where it would be empty words and our hearts wouldn't be meaning what we're saying so we're just gonna cry out for Southern California Lord would you deliver our, our region of religion in a greater measure we're asking for a tangible outpouring so we need every heart, every voice for 30 seconds. Can we cry out for religion to get ripped out of our land in a greater way? Let's go for it. Lord, we're asking tonight, would you destroy religion in our land, God? We're asking, Holy Spirit, would you rip it out, Lord, in Jesus' name, God? We're asking for an authentic outpouring of your spirit, Lord, where our hearts are burning for you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Forgive us for any way we've fallen in religion, God. Set us free, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. One more, one more, and then we're going to roar this chorus with all of our hearts. I'm telling you, God's breaking through and breathing on this. Brad is 100% right. We're crying out for an outpouring in Southern California. I'm going to do one more, hand it back to these guys. But we've got to cry out that God would burn up all religious apathy. Where it's like we check the box, we go to the meeting, we go to the church. No, we want to be 24-7 burning for Jesus. So can we cry out that God would destroy religious apathy in our own hearts and also in this region? Let's go 30 more seconds and we're going to roar this. Lord, we ask, would you burn up all religious apathy, God? All half-heartedness, God. All halfway in, Lord. Always, we're not all the way in, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, would you set this region free from halfway in, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, God, burn it up, Lord. Pour our revival tonight. Let's cry this out. Holy Spirit, we're desperate. Let's cry out again. In the Holy Spirit, we're desperate for a demonstration of your power. Come and wreck my generation for your glory. Way beyond our expectation. Holy Spirit, move. We invite you to come. And Holy Spirit. 
priest forever. You tore the veil so we could come through. Sing it again. Tear down the friends, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some rapid fire prayer for revival in Southern California. There was a promise. If you guys want to even begin lining up, there was a promise given to circuit riders, but not just to us, anyone who would believe in Orange County. And the Lord said that there is oil on Main Street, Main Street in, in Huntington Beach, California, but it was representative of Orange County and Southern California. There is oil on Main Street. And if we dig deep enough, friends, there is oil that's gonna break forth in our generation, the presence of God, the glory of God. And so we wanna press in together and believe that we're pushing something over the top. So if you want to, we're gonna line up. And friends, there's power in our agreement. Do you believe it? So as we pray out, don't just passively stand by. Let's say amen. Let's agree with every prayer that's prayed for revival in Jesus' name. And we're going to keep singing things out for the next maybe 10 minutes or so.
This morning when I read the Bible, I read Genesis 14, and verse 14 says that when Abraham heard that when Lot was taken captive, he got up and he went with 300 men against an army of five kings. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, he said, Jackson, where are the people who will do that? Who will who will hear that their that their friends and their family are taken captive and just run? They they don't even think about the odds against them. They're just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go. And so Lord, I pray that we would be the people who, who when we hear that our friends and our family and those around us, even those that we don't even know, God, when we hear that those people are in captivity and bondage, that we would run after them, like just with reckless advantage, just like you did just for us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Yes, God, I pray, God, that you would awaken every heart of every woman in Southern California, Jesus, yes, that they would arise as Deborah's and mothers, that they would not walk in offense, but they would walk in the love of God. Yes. Jesus, I pray to move of God over every young woman searching, searching for love, surfing for Jesus, that they would have an encounter with Jesus, and that they would be motivated to use their voice for the gospel in Jesus' name. just how loving you are even when we can't see you god love us back to life continue to just breathe and breathe and breathe into us until we see that it's your breath all along that's been carrying us through our hardships god just bring us back to you continue to bring us back to you amen, amen. Father, I ask you that you would raise up bold, young evangelists in Southern California. I pray that their voices would be clear and filled with the power of God to preach the gospel. I ask you that you would anoint these ones, God, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to walk in the power, authority, and anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Yeah. 
to endure our cross, Lord God. And we thank you for setting the captives free in, G in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we're asking for an outpouring that would flood every church of this region, God. We ask that every church would have a tangible increase in your presence, God. Have mercy on the region, and would you flood the church with your glory and your presence, Lord. Yes, Jesus, we thank you for the outpouring of healings, God. God, we thank you that you will fill the streets with healings, God. We thank you for terminal cancer being healed, tumors being healed, minds being restored, God. We thank you for the masses that will come. They will fill the beaches, and they will fill the streets, and the glory of God will come, and you will reveal your son. God, we thank you that healings millions and millions of healings would mark this generation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Jesus, you didn't die for a lukewarm bride. You didn't leave heaven and die for the world to stay broken. Lord, you came that we would be saved, that whoever would hear your name and call upon you would be saved. So we ask God to set us on fire. Set your bride on fire. Consume us, God. Drive out all sin. going guys yes jesus i ask that what you did the jesus people movement that there would be a double portion in southern california in jesus name god that you would awaken the young people that you would awaken christians who are spiritually asleep jesus wake them up call them into revival let them go forth in an activated lifestyle will follow you in jesus name yes jesus we call forth every asian american believer god that they would rise to the understanding that they are your beloved God. We ask that they will walk in the fear of the Lord over fear of man. Yes, God, how many revivals came out of California, Jesus? So we say, in Jesus' name, would you bring a fresh revival, God? Pour it out from heaven, God. We pray, awaken the men in California, in Jesus' name. Awaken the women in California, in Jesus' name. Let it catalyze across America, God. Pour out your spirit, Jesus. Sing us out. Cause you're stirring up a deep, deep way.
guys, we got a few more. We're gonna pray out, and then we're gonna go crazy back into this course. Let's go. Yes, Lord, would you get all religion out of Southern California, Lord? Would you prepare the bride for this mass harvest of souls? Lord, let fires of intercession be raised up, God, that we get out of division into unity and get prepared for the mass harvest, God, send forth labors in Jesus' name. I get this image in my mind imagining the oil running down Main Street, and it's us walking in the image of Christ, walking in Christ, knowing our identity. So what would it look like if a generation, if just this room, like Derek's message on Monday night, we walked in the identity of Christ. So Jesus, Lord, would we walk in the fullness of our identity, meeting every person in Southern California with eyes of fire, but hearts ready to lay down for them, God. Lord, would you show us how to lay down our hearts for our neighbor. Show us how to go out of our way and drop all of our desires for each other, God. Lord, would it enter prisons? Lord, would it enter universities? Lord, would it enter streets and communities, Lord, that have been untapped, God? Lord, would you give circuit riders, God? Lord, would you give rare other people in this room inheritance in Southern California? Lord, we play a movement would rise out of the music industry, across social media platforms, a movement that would turn the focus of the world to Jesus, a movement that would go over our generation, would rise celebrities, would rise influencers, and it wouldn't point to them, but it would point purely to Jesus. And then a burning movement would come out of every single platform in the name of Jesus, Lord. Ephesians 13 through 14 says, but everything by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes the light. This is why we say to Southern California, wake up, O oh sleeper, rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. Jesus, I just pray right now that God, that high schools would be saved, that we would see people get saved, love to rise, that they would see your heart, just one glance of you, God, and they would come running to you, that this generation will be saved and that people will come to you, God. Okay, last point, friends. We're about to have a circuit rider school here in Orange County. Can we just pray for an outpouring of the presence of God that every leader that comes, there are 160 leaders that are coming from all across the nation. Can we just ask that Jesus encounters every single person and sends them back to where they're from to carry revival everywhere they go. So Jesus, we ask for the circuit rider school here in Orange County. Would you pour out your presence in our midst? God, set every leader on fire for you, Jesus. Send them back to carry revival everywhere they go. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Come on, we're gonna keep singing. You're stirring up deep, deep wells in agreement with these prayers, in agreement with the word that there's a well on Main Street that the Lord is gonna burst a revival. So we're gonna sing this as a declaration and just invite the joy of the Lord. Can you sing this with me? Let's have fun with it. Here we go. Cause you're stirring up deep, deep wells. You're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Oh, dance in the river. And you're stirring up deep, deep wells. You're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river. Let's go, let's go. And deep cries out to deep cries.
got the joy, 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 joy. Down in my heart, let's declare, here we go. Got this joy, 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 down in my heart.
on, can we give a shout to Jesus in this place? Friends, the, the band may take us in to one more song, up to you guys. But before we leave, our team felt to pray for the sick tonight. We wanna continue to pray for the sick here at Greenhouse Monday nights, but we believe that there is healing in the presence of Jesus. There is healing in the presence of Jesus. And as circuit riders, we are believing for a movement of healing, the power of God to heal physical bodies in our generation. We're pressing in for a greater outpouring of healing. There are many who are sick in circuit riders and there are many who have been healed in circuit riders. We've seen God do miracles, undeniable miracles. And I was just reminded that Brian Brent, he used to talk about the suddenlies of God. And I wanna encourage somebody tonight, maybe you've been prayed for at Greenhouse, or maybe you've been prayed for at another worship gathering, but I wanna encourage you to never stop believing for your healing, because there are moments where God breaks in suddenly and everything changes. And so I wanna pray for anyone who's sick tonight. I also wanna pray if, while we were singing about the fear of the Lord, I wanna pray for anyone who felt conviction to say there is an area of my life where I need to get free. Maybe the, maybe the enemy has a, a, a stronghold on your mind, you wanna get free. Maybe there's an area of sin you wanna get free from in your life. There is an invitation from the Lord. Jesus is here tonight to heal and to free you. It's true. And so if you specifically need prayer for healing, could you just raise your hand in the air? And if, if there's any area of your life uh, you, you just want to give to the Lord, you're saying, Jesus, I want the fear of the Lord. I need freedom in any area of my life. Could you raise your hand in the air? And I want people to go and find people. This is a moment, friends. I want you to go find somebody with their hand raised. I want you to ask them what they need prayer for. And we're gonna begin praying short, powerful prayers, faith-filled prayers, believing for healing and freedom tonight. Ask them what's going on, what they need prayer for. And then I want you to begin praying for them. Jesus, we take authority right now over all sickness and disease. Jesus, you have authority over every kind of sickness and disease. Lord, we ask for your sudden outpouring of your power tonight. We ask for suddenly tonight in Jesus' name. We ask for your power to touch bodies tonight in Jesus' name. We command sickness to go now in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. We declare tonight is a night of breakthrough in Jesus' name. We ask for freedom from mental torment in the name of Jesus. All shame go now in Jesus' name. We rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every area, every open door, we slam the door shut in Jesus' mighty name. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Touch every body tonight in Jesus' name. Pour out your power, Lord. Pour out your power, Lord. Pour out your power, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We believe you, God. You can do it, Lord. Would you do it tonight? You can do it, Lord. Would you do it tonight? Healing in the name of Jesus. Touch your people tonight, Lord. Fill them with your power. New bodies in Jesus' name. New minds in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, if you're paying attention to the live stream, I also believe God wants to touch you tonight. If you're listening in the greenhouse, the Holy Spirit is in the room where you are. Jesus, we ask even on the live stream, you would heal bodies tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Pour out your healing power, Lord. Okay, wrap up your prayers if you can. 
And friends, there's, there's no performance in this place. If you feel a, a shift in your body or a shift in your mind or just in your life, you feel like Jesus has brought healing or freedom tonight, would you just raise your hand in the air? Would you raise your hand? Come on, I see some hands over there. Is there anyone else you feel like Jesus touched you tonight? Come on. Guys, can we celebrate Jesus tonight? Jesus, we thank you for your healing, Lord. We ask for more. God, everyone who's even still receiving prayer, we ask for more tonight. In Jesus' name, heal bodies, Lord. Does anyone, does anyone wanna come and just testify to what the Lord is doing in your life, just briefly? Just share what God is doing in your life. If you experience healing or freedom, just run up here really quickly. Run up here really quickly if you wanna share what Jesus is doing in your life. Thank you, Lord. Amazing. Well, Lord, we thank you for every, everything you did tonight, Jesus. You're amazing, God. We bless you. We honor you. Let's, let's enter into one, uh, one final moment of worship. One more time. All hail King Jesus. Straight to him. All hail there's truly no one like you there is no one like you Jesus thank you for coming thank you for dwelling with us Jesus thank you for moving heaven to earth in our midst Lord thank you for establishing your throne in our hearts Jesus we love you Lord our hearts burn for you Jesus our hearts burn for you tonight Lord Jesus, keep our hearts burning. Let us burn all the days of our life, Jesus. More and more, more and more, Jesus. It's just the beginning, Lord. It's just the beginning of what you wanna do in our lives. It's just the beginning of what you wanna do here in Orange County, in Southern California, and to the ends of the earth, Lord. We love you, we honor you, Jesus. We thank you for your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you for revealing Jesus to us. Lord, we thank you for every body healed, every person set free, every one of us set on fire tonight, Jesus. Lord, would you send us out to carry revival into the streets of Orange County? Send us, would you just pray that final prayer? Jesus, send me out burning. Send us out to carry this revival to our generation, God, everywhere we go everywhere we go in Jesus name in Jesus name we love you amen amen so good amazing guys we'll be back Monday next Thursday Chase has announcements next Thursday sorry quick announcement about next Thursday please come uh, it's a unique one because we have our one-week circuit rider school starts next Thursday. 
Everybody rise Wednesday. So this room will probably be a full of about 160 more people, leaders from around the nation. So it's going to be really fun. So please, you're, you're still welcome. It's open to the public still. So please come bring your friends. The first 30 minutes, though, we're going to talk about our, our first love, Jesus, and how we can love him well. And then we're going to jump into a greenhouse prayer and worship set. So if you want to come for the teaching, 6.30 to 7, and then we're going to rock and roll um, into like our normal greenhouse uh, adoring and worshiping Jesus. So come next Thursday. And I just want to share this. If you are local, it's not too late to jump into the Circuit Rider School. So if you feel led, it's June 28th through July 5th. We're, we're here at the crossing, and um, we have a special rate for commuters. So if you're local, it would cost $4.99 for the entire experience, which is like unheard of for a circuit rider school. And so pray about it. Ask the Lord. If you're available, you want to get trained as a leader to reach your generation, come. It's going to be an amazing time. And come find me after service. So you're like, I want to do the circuit rider school here in Orange County. Come find me. I'll be right here, and I'll have a way for you to sign up. Sound good? Amen. Be blessed.